Whoa, 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 he's not ready. Oh, they like to fight. Come on, let's head in. We got him, let's head in. There you go, guys. Check him out. Thank you. Let's get what, 16, 18, maybe? Beautiful fish. Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a minute. You guys notice anything different? Check it out. Today is a special day. There's snow on the ground. I'm actually on a lake. There's ice underneath me and there's fish down there waiting to be caught. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric and I'm always on a fishing adventure. Today we're chasing a few different species of trout. There's cutthroat trout in here and cutbow, which is a mix of rainbow and cutthroat. So I'm gonna drill some holes, I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. All right guys, so what I'm doing is, um, I'm set up in about eight feet of water. And what I did was I'm close to shore. It's pretty shallow right here. And what I did was I found a weed line and then I just followed that weed line from closer to shore out to the deeper part of the lake. And where that weed line stopped, that's where I popped a bunch of holes and I'm set up in the hole right now. And the weed line is just right over there about, I don't know, five feet from me. So I'm set up with a small tungsten with a piece of worm, and I'm just gonna jig here for a minute and see if I can catch fish. Let's see one, here comes, here comes one guys. There's a big fish in there, it's coming up. It's coming, you might hit it. There's a couple of them actually. Oh, he just went back down, I scared him. Shoot guys. There's a fish in the area, so that's good. I'm just gonna keep trying. Okay guys, I'm hooked up on a trout here. I haven't got a look at him yet, but. Let's see, what is he? Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, he's not ready. Boy, they like to fight. Okay, now I got you. Now I got you, buddy. First fish I season 2020, 2021. The end of November. Oh, yeah, it's a nice, looks like a rainbow, but let's see if I can get his head in. Oh, he was almost done. Come on, get the head in here. Get your head in there. Come on, get your head in. Please, buddy. Oh, it's a nice one. Here we go. Got his head in. Uh, there we go, guys. Check him. Heck yeah. That's a good, what, 16, 18, maybe? Inch trout there. Beautiful fish. That is a cutthroat, I believe. Look at the beautiful colors on him. Awesome fish. Heck yeah. Whew. That's exciting. Okay guys, I just hooked hooked up on this little guy a little bit ago. I think that's a mountain whitefish. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna let it go. There it goes. Awesome. Okay, I got a fish coming up. Got a fish coming up hot. Oh, what is that? Got a fish. Got him, got him guys. Ooh, instantly when I dropped down this hole. You guys see that? Oh, I missed him. Missed him. I mean, I got him, but he unhooked. Dang. And that was no bait. I was about to reach for the deucer and he came off the hook. But that fish just was on all over my, my jig when I dropped down. There's a bunch of fish stacked up right here. It's so weird and they're just sitting there. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of fish that was. Got another trout on. Woo wee! This is freaking awesome. This is my second trout. Well, actually third. I've One broke off and I lost my jig. So if I land this one, it will be my second one. 
and the ticket has been just a small tungsten with a mealworm. He's a fighter. The problem, biggest problem with these fish is trying to get their heads in the hole. Once they see that hole, they just go crazy. Yep, looks like another cutthroat. Another cutty. Oh yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting crazy now. I'm just going to let him get... Oh, he's all wrapped up. Man, these trout are crazy. Come on, get your head in. Come on, get your head in. Nope. Dang, I'm not used to catching these trout through the ice. <laughs> Jeez. He's tired, but he's just not having it. My drag is set pretty good right now. I just gotta be patient. It's just dangerous when they get really close to the hole like that and they pull, they can snap your line. Come on, fish. We wanna take a look at you. Oh, this guy's a tough one. Okay, I think I got him, guys. He's mine now. He's mine now. Yep, there he is. Woo! Second cutthroat for me. Oh, they got some teeth. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. Take a look at that, guys. Oh wow, something happened to his tail right there. Beautiful fish. He's got he's a in general brownish pink color. He's got some little black spots right here from the tail. And then they're denser right here. They lighten up the spots towards the head. And uh, um you can see right there there's a the red lines, the markings. That's why they call it a cutthroat right there. Beautiful fish right there. I'm gonna say that's about Another 17 and a half, 18 incher. I'm gonna unhook them and I'm gonna let them go. Hooked up guys, hooked up. Yes, yes. Feeling like a trout ski, but a little one. I was trying to set up the jaw jacker, but I just seen fish down there, so I gave it a little jig. Well, he's not feeling too small now, but I don't know, these guys fight pretty good, so you never know. There's my split shot. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. It's okay. Let's see. I haven't really got a good look at him. He's pretty dark. He looks like he's darker than the, the ones I've caught before. Yeah, he's definitely smaller. That's for sure. I'm gonna let him go down. Then I'm gonna reel in real fast, sneak attack him, get his head to that hole. I think that's the way to do it because last two times I've been fighting and fighting and they just don't bring their whole head up the hole. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fast with the quickness. Oh, uh, yep, it worked. Oh, no, no, no. Chill. Chill, my friend. He's actually a, almost the same size, a little shorter. Look at that. Look, that's like a bronze gold color they got on there. You can see the black spots are more dense right here and then they lessen while they go to the head. Some beautiful red color right there. Another beautiful cutthroat trout. Beauty. Oh, nice. Look at that fish. That's amazing. So much fun, guys. And started with spoons and jigger wraps. We noticed though that it's more of a finesse bite. They're hitting off the small tungsten jigs with a, a bit of bait hooked on it. I'm gonna let that fish go. Awesome. Woo! That's why I drove all the way out here for catch fish like that the weirdest thing guys I came to check the jaw jacker and I uh 
pushed down to break the ice the little film of ice on the hole and then I felt the fish on there but the jaw jacket never went off so I don't know with that maybe with that subtle movement of the jig it hit right at the same time or if he was just sitting there that was the weirdest thing ever regardless we got a fish on guys fish on Probably the smallest one so far. Another cut. Check him out, guys. Got on that little tungsten jig. A piece of worm. Look at that. That. Let's see, cutthroat. It's got the slits. Here's a smaller one. It's a beautiful fish regardless. All right guys, man, it's cold out there so I had to come in here and warm up, but uh, recap, we got out here and then I, I found the weed line and I set up next to it and started jigging some bigger baits, more aggressive baits, rattles and stuff like that to try to call the fish in, but they weren't having it, they weren't biting them. I think I got one on a uh, jigging wrap, but it came off. Yeah, it came off the jigging wrap and then I lost one on a, on a tungsten, a small tungsten. So then I switched to a smaller presentation with tungstens and bait, millworms and worms. And that's what they were hitting on. So yeah, we got a, quite a few of them, a few nice ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I want to thank every one of you guys that clicked on this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And all you guys that are hitting thumbs up, you guys are awesome. So remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living. I'll catch you on the next one.